Amplitude's lifecycle chart helps you answer the question, how is my active user base changing and growing over time? A raw active user count might not always give you an accurate picture into your product's growth. With Lifecycle, you'll be able to track how many of your users are newly active in your product, how many have been regularly active, how many have been resurrected from inactive to active again, and how many active users have become inactive. To visualize this distribution, the Lifecycle chart buckets your users into new, current, resurrected, and dormant user categories based on whether a user has done a specified event during a set time interval. With this level of granularity, you'll be able to devise more targeted growth strategies. Do you need to focus on creating more engagement opportunities for your new users? Or should you focus your efforts on re-engaging inactive users? The lifecycle chart will help you answer these questions and more. Let's look at how to build a basic lifecycle chart. By default, the lifecycle chart shows you the number of users who were new, current, resurrected, and dormant for every seven day interval over the last 28 days. The way Amplitude determines how your users fall into these four categories is dependent on two things, the event you select when you build the chart as well as your product's usage interval. You'll notice that by default, the event selected here is any event. This means we're looking at users who did anything in the product. That is, these are users who are, by definition, considered active. You'll also notice that the default usage interval is set to seven days. In other words, Amplitude will be looking at whether or not a user has been active any time within a seven day interval. The event selection and the usage interval determines how each of the four user buckets is defined. So based on Lifecycle's default settings, a new user is a user who is active for the first time in the current seven day interval. A current user is one who is active in the current 7-day interval and the previous 7-day interval. A resurrected user is one who is active in the current 7-day interval but was previously inactive. And finally, a dormant user is one who is inactive in the current 7-day interval. Now let's look at a different example. Let's say you work at a grocery delivery service called AmpliShop, and you expect users to complete a purchase roughly once every 10 days. You want to see how the distribution of users who actually make purchases changes over time. To build this analysis in Amplitude, create a new lifecycle chart. Instead of leaving the default event selection as any event, Let's change this to complete purchase. This is because we don't want to look at just active users. We want to focus specifically on users who are or aren't triggering the complete purchase event. Next, let's change our usage interval to 10 days. We expect our users to complete a purchase every 10 days. Finally, let's change the time frame of our analysis so we look back at our data from the last 60 days. Now, you can see the new, current, resurrected, and dormant buckets of users for six 10-day time intervals. This bucket, for example, shows that there were 13,502 resurrected users in the March 8th through 17th time interval. In other words, 13,502 users triggered the complete purchase event in the March 8th through 17th time interval after not triggering this event in the February 26th through March 7th time interval or prior. A more useful visualization might be to look at each bucket as a percentage. For instance, here, about 8% of users are current users between the February 26th through March 7th interval. By our definition of the current user bucket, 
we can say that 8% of users triggered the complete purchase event between February 26th and March 7th, and the previous interval of February 16th through February 25th. Lifecycle also offers other visualizations to see your user growth and churn over time. You can learn more about these visualizations in the Amplitude Help Center.